Can you tell me how many squares are shaded? Shaded, please. Um. I see five on the bottom. Twenty-five. How many on the up here? Twenty-four. How many of that? Twenty-five. Not twenty-five. You got five. Five on the bottom and four up. You're multiplying. Is it clear what numbers you're multiplying? I got 25 again. I just counted them. Okay. Maybe I'm not counting. I guess that is five. Okay. It is 25. Thank you very much. There are 100 total. Can you reduce this fraction? Yes. Okay. What does it reduce to? One fourth. All right, very good. One fourth. You sound a bit tired. Are you okay? I'm a very yeah. I'm not not feeling well, but I'll be okay for a lesson. Okay, so what percent of the square is shaded? So how do you convert a fraction or an inch fraction to a percent? Um, you use the denominator. Okay, but it's it's already out of a hundred, so how can we convert that to a percent? Um. Like, let me give you an example. Five over one hundred is five percent. Twelve over one hundred is twelve percent. Oh, twenty-five percent. There you go. All right, let me know when you get all this down and we will we'll move on to another question. I'm done. Okay. Are you writing down the work as well? Yes. Okay. All right, so for this problem, it really would help to, gra to graph it. Do you have any graph paper? No. Okay, so let me cr quickly graph this for you. Put this on. I'll, I'll snip this in and we can maybe figure out the rest of it. All right, so I'm going to snip this in. Can you tell me where the the other uh, missing vertex goes? How could you connect these? You know where to go. Uh, what? I I can't hear you. What'd you say? I'm asking you where the next point goes so that you can connect connect these. Connect what? Connect the lines. It's, uh, it says, what's the coordinate of the fourth vertex? Like you're trying to make a rectangle here and you only have, you only have three of the points. So you're only able to connect these. You're looking for, I'm trying to get you to tell me where this point, red point goes. Um, like, does it go here, for example? No, it goes to that zero. It goes to the zero. Give me, give me, give me a number. Say from the origin. Say how much left or right or up or down. Uh, move one left. Okay. Anything else? 
up to. All right, so that's negative one, two. So that is the first, that's the first thing it's looking for. You remember the formula for area? Uh, the formula for area? Yes. Do you remember the formula for area of a rectangle? Um, I think it's like area is sides, is um, multiplying sides of squares, uh, perimeter. Base time, it's base times height. Base times height. Uh, perimeter is adding all the sides together. Okay, so what is the base of this rectangle? How many squares do you see? Four. Okay. And what's the height? Five. Okay. What's the area? What is four times five? Twenty. It is twenty. All right. You have a. You know, let me get some of this down on your paper. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to go on to thirteen. I'm ready. All right. Are you taking any notes also? Because I think your teacher would like to see that. Plus, it'll help you refresh how you did these problems. I know. I'm. Well, you want me to take notes? Well, I already know how to do this stuff, Aiden. I mean, for you, for most of me. So if yeah, you don't want any notes, we can just write down the answer. Yeah, but we're not allowed to bring out notes during the test. Okay. All right, what is uh, 9 times 10? Uh, nine, 90. Okay. How do you undo multiplication by 18? Um... Reduce by two. You divide both sides by eighteen. So can you uh, can you divide that for us, please? Okay. How do you divide with fractions? Well, you you find a number that goes into the top and the bottom. Like the two go into both. Um. Yeah. Okay, and then you find another number that goes into both, or you maybe recognize what that is. Um, 90, I mean. 45 divided by nine? Yeah. What does that become? Uh, five. It becomes five. All right. There is the answer. Okay. 15 here. I remember us working on some problems like this a while back. Do you remember how to multiply a number times a number like this? No. Okay. Oh, I, like... I do. All right. I'll be right back with you. See if you can work that out. All right. I am back. Um, Any questions on how to work this out? Um, do I multiply the five by one first, or do I multiply? You multiply the five times the five. What does that become? Ten. You're multiplying. Oh, no, uh, 20, 25. Five with a carry of two. One is five times one. Uh, five. Add the carry. Add the huh? two. Add the two. 
so that becomes a seven. Uh -huh. And then you put a zero here. What is one times five? Five. What is one times one? One. Now add up vertically. Add these up, let me know what you come up with. Two hundred twenty-five. And then you, you move the decimal to the left. There are two decimal places in the numbers. So move it left two places. The answer is 2.25. All right, let's take a look at number 17. says 4.3 plus 1.79 plus 11. So we're going to line up the numbers here. This time you're just going to add vertically. Go ahead and get this written down. Are you ready to add vertically? Yeah. All right. What is zero? Zero plus nine plus zero. One thousand. Uh, one one seven zero nine. I'm sorry. You're you're adding vertically. The zero, the nine, and the zero. What does that add up to? Nine. Okay. There's no carry. What about three plus seven plus zero? Uh, ten. So that's zero with a carry of one. What is one plus four plus one plus one? Seven. So it's seventeen point zero nine. Any questions on that? No. All right. Nineteen. Okay, so the uh, teacher is suggesting that we convert one and one fifth here from a mixed number to an improper. Any idea how to do that? No. All right, well, let me give you an example. Let's say it was one and two thirds. It's this becomes three times one plus two over three. So you take the bottom number in the fraction, multiply by the number in front, and add the top number. You keep the bottom number. So five's gonna go down here. What number goes up, up top here? Five times one plus one. Uh, six. six. Good. Okay. Now, um, we're going to multiply these two fractions that I've circled here. One-fourth times two-fifths. You multiply the top and multiply the bottom. So what does that become? Um... Two... Two is the top and twenty is the bottom. Okay, does that does that reduce? Um, yeah. Okay, what does that become? Uh, two eighths. Two eighths. Nope, you're dividing both by two. Uh, one. Tenth. Okay. All right. Now, 
to subtract these fractions, we have to make a common denominator. So it's going to be 12 over 10 minus 1 over 10. And I think it's easier to write this way. 12 over 10 minus 1 over 10. What does that become? Um... What is 12 minus 1? Um, uh, oh, 11. All right, good job. All right, what else would you like to work on tonight? We've gone through all of the odds. Uh, I think that's it. Just, uh, was the answer to 19 again? 11 over 10. Okay, thanks. All right, is there anything else you want to work on today? Uh, let me ask my mom. Okay. Hi, Barra. Um, I just wanted you to just like go over the main things on this test. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just not sensing a lot of understanding from him. <laughs> yeah. Just... Um, a lot of blank stares uh, in terms of just, you know, not being sure what to do. So, um, yeah, we could try a few more problems. Um, you want that or you want him uh, to help you do science? That? The bone marrow. Bone marrow. Mm -hmm. um, he does have a, a science assignment. Like he has to do slides on like the bone marrow. Okay. Uh, are you able to help him with that? I yeah. Guess. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. The sure. Article, the teacher said he can use this article, and he just needs to use. Um, he needs to choose one of these scientists on this article and just like do a. Uh, slides about the name, picture, the dates, and what they like accomplished as far as uh, like bone marrow goes. Okay. Yeah, can you uh, send over some of that by email? Yeah, let me email it to you right now. Um, so he hasn't seen the article. He can choose the scientist. Um, and you guys can read it together and then just do slides based on that. Okay. So like I said, uh, name, picture, um, let me see what she said. Yeah, name, date, picture, and three sentence about the scientist. Okay. All right, well, I guess we'll look at the article first. Um, Put the phone away. Aiden, do you have that article in front of you, or do you want me to pull it up on my screen? Uh, I need you to pull it up. Yeah, he doesn't. Right. He just sent it to my email. I didn't put okay. it. Yeah. All right. Well, whenever you're ready, if you want to read, read for us, please. Bone marrow is an essential part of our body that plays a crucial role in producing our blood. Every day, the marrow produces billions of red cells, white cells, and pal platelets. However, the true function of the marrow was not known in ancient times and was only discovered in the 19th century through experiments. In this text, we will explore the history of bone marrow and how its role as the seedbed of our blood was uncovered. So this word here is called platelets. Platelets. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, now what are we doing in this assignment? Do you have the assignment in front of you? No. Okay, well, we got to choose. Can you ask your mom to send the assignment? I don't see it here. Try reloading it. All right, I guess we need to choose a scientist. We'll, I already uh, we'll took one. Okay, who did you choose? Rosen uh, Franklin. Is he in this? 
Yeah. Yeah. Anything choose? Did you get it? Could you put that in the chat? Who you chose? Okay. Uh, Mom, yeah. how do you spell the name? Rosalind Frank uh, Franklin. Oh, why don't you do a quick Google search and see if you can um, get the correct spelling, please? That's right. Just tell me. No, he's not on this list. Has to be one of these guys. William Oscar. No, it, it was it. Who is it? Galilo Bizarri. Or one of those. He has to choose one of those on the article. Okay. No, you have to choose one of these guys. You have to choose one of those guys. That's all, all right. So let's let's read about the first one, and you can tell me if you if you like like him or not. Ernest Naumann, a German pathologist, a scientist who studies diseases, carefully looked at bone marrow under the microscope. He described the preference of red blood cells with newly in the bone marrow of humans and rabbits in 1868 he concluded that red blood cells are made in the marrow he also recognized that there are white blood cells in the marrow and suggested that one kind of stem cell may lead to all kinds of blood cells Neumann's observation was were groundbreaking although he mistakenly believed that marrow cells divide divided inside the blood vessels of marrow okay good so that's kind of interesting Let's look up uh, Giulio Bezzozero. You want to read about him, please? Giulio Bezzero, an Italian pathologist, confirmed Newman's founding and extended them to include the formation of white blood cells. He also coined the term platelate. Platelet. Platelet, and added to Osler's observation that platelets were independent pieces of cell that help blood clot in order to stop feeding. Can we do the Galileo Bizarro guy? Sure. All right. Let's do it. So I'm gonna put his name in the, uh, in the chat. Let me get a, a Google slide going. You want me to make it or you make it? I'll make it and I'll share it with you. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. You're not seeing that thing. There you are. It's not. All right, so what should go on our title slide? Um, Galileo Bezerio. Okay. That worked. How do you live? Even... How do you live that long? I bet you didn't live that long. He lived about about fifty-five years. Wait, that's it. Yeah, you would subtract the dates. I thought he lived to at least like 80. All right. So we need to get a picture of him. Would you find a picture of him on the internet, please? Or you can reuse that one, I guess, if you want. Do you want me to put it in the chat? I don't, yeah, it's up to you. I don't. I don't really know the assignment, so. How do you spell his name again? It's, uh, it's in the chat. If you want to grab that, you can copy and paste. I'll also go to this slide here in case you want to look at that.
I got it. Okay. Okay. Nope. There he is. All right. Um, so I think the next thing they want is like two or three sentences about him. Um, do you want to try to summarize what's here? Uh, okay. Um, should I type it in the chat? Yeah, that would be best. Uh, do you feel like this answers the requirements? Yeah. You've got the you've got the person, the date, some sentences, a picture. Is that is that good? Did that get everything you wanted? Yeah. Wait. Okay. Do we only do we only have to create one slide? I don't know. So. Bob. What I'm going with. Do we only have to create one slide? Uh, I think that's good. I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the email as well to you. I'm also dropped it in the chat if you want to click on it. You should be able to download it and send it off to your uh, your teacher as well. Is there anything else you want to cover tonight? Um, no, I think that's it. All right. We're going to stop there then for today.